Hey guys, the objective of this video is to show you the steps on how to solve sine cubed x. So as a general rule, when you have a large exponent, you want to break down the exponent into smaller powers. So in this case, we will choose sine squared x times sine x dx. The reason for doing this is because most of our trig identities are to the power of 2 or 1. So as you can see, we found the identity straight away, sine squared x equals to 1 minus cosine squared x. In our next step, we'll be using u substitution, where we let u equals to cosine x. So our new integral would be 1 minus u squared. And now we want to find dx, so we find du dx, which equals to negative sine x. And from rearranging this, we have dx equals to du over negative sine x. So plugging everything in, we have sine x here times dx, which is du on negative sine x. The sine x's cancel out, and we're left with a negative here. We can take that negative outside of our integral, so we're left with 1 minus u squared du. And now our integral is quite simple, it's just negative, the integral of 1 is u, and the integral of negative u squared is negative u cubed divided by 3 plus c. So Distributing that negative into our bracket, we have negative u plus u cubed on 3. Now taking back our integral into the x world, we replace u with cosine x, so we have negative cosine x plus cosine cubed x divided by 3 plus c. And this over here is your answer.